What if I told you that every piece of information you consume might be shaping your thoughts, beliefs, and actions? This intriguing concept is known as media literacy. In our digital age, media is everywhere, constantly influencing us in ways that may be subtle or profound. It's the billboard you pass by, the tweet you scroll through, the news you watch. This omnipresence of media holds a powerful sway over our perspectives and behaviors. Yes, media literacy is that important, and that's what we're here to delve into today. Now, imagine this scenario, a popular news outlet publishes a controversial story. Let's visualize a bustling city, where a news story is swirling around like an autumn leaf caught in the wind. The story, published by a reputable source, alleges that a prominent politician has been involved in a multi-million dollar scandal. This news travels like wildfire, igniting heated debates in coffee shops, public transportation, and social media platforms. Here's where things take a turn. A group of people, let's call them Group A, reads the story and interprets it as a clear sign of corruption. They believe the politician is guilty even though the article merely alleges involvement, not guilt. They take to social media, spreading their interpretation like gospel, creating a frenzy. Meanwhile, another group, Group B, also reads the story. However, they believe the news outlet is biased against the politician, and thus they discredit the whole story. They too spread their interpretation, further fanning the flames of confusion and discord. Now we have two groups with two contrasting interpretations, both spreading like ink in water, coloring public opinion. What's more, these interpretations are based on the same story. It's like a game of telephone gone awry, where the original message gets lost in translation. This misinterpretation leads to chaos. Protests erupt in the city with Group A calling for the politician's impeachment and Group B accusing the news outlet of fake news. Friendships strain, families bicker, and the city becomes a hotbed of tension. And all this chaos, this misunderstanding stems from a single misinterpreted message. It's like a snowball that starts off small and harmless, but as it rolls downhill it gathers snow and momentum, growing into a destructive force. Now take a step back and think. What if Group A and Group B had approached the news story with a critical eye? What if they had questioned the source, analyzed the language, and sought out additional information before forming an opinion? What if they had the tools of media literacy at their disposal? This situation could have been avoided with a basic understanding of media literacy. So, what exactly is media literacy? Well, let's unravel this complex concept together. Media literacy is the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, and create media in a variety of forms. It's not just about consuming information. It's about understanding the nuances of the media landscape and knowing how to navigate it effectively. The first component, understanding, is the foundation of media literacy. It's about grasping the basic mechanics of different media forms, be it television, radio, print, or digital. You need to understand how these forms work, how they deliver information, and how they can influence your perceptions. Then comes analyzing. This is where we break down the media content, dissecting it to understand its underlying messages. This could involve looking at the language used, the images presented, or the people represented. It's a deep dive into what the media is really telling us. Evaluating, the third component, involves critically examining these messages. It's not enough to just understand and analyze. You need to question, to probe, to challenge. This is where your own judgment comes into play. Is the information accurate? Is it biased? What's the source? These are just a few of the questions that guide the evaluation process. Finally, creating media is the culmination of media literacy. It's about using your understanding, analysis, and evaluation to produce your own media content. This could be writing a blog post, filming a video, or even crafting a tweet. It's about being an active participant, not just a passive consumer. The role of media literacy is profound. It promotes critical thinking, empowering us to question what we see and hear. It helps us make informed decisions, whether it's about what news to trust, what products to buy, or even what political issues to support. Media literacy is not just about understanding media, it's about being an active and informed participant. It's about engaging with media in a conscious, critical, and creative way. It's about taking control of your media experience and not letting it control you. So dive in, question, understand, and create. That's the essence of media literacy. How does media literacy empower us? This question is more significant today than ever before. With information cascading from every corner of our digital lives, understanding and interpreting media messages become crucial. 
First and foremost, media literacy bestows upon us the ability to question. It urges us not to accept information at face value, but to delve deeper, to scrutinize the what, why, and who of every piece of media. It's like having a built-in lie detector, a discerning eye that separates the wheat from the chaff, the fact from the fiction. And this knack for questioning leads us to the next benefit, evaluation. Media literacy trains us to evaluate the reliability and credibility of the information we consume. It hones our critical thinking skills, enabling us to weigh evidence, consider multiple viewpoints, and reach well-reasoned conclusions. It's like being a detective in the world of information, sifting through clues to uncover the truth. But the power of media literacy doesn't stop there. It also serves as our shield, helping us resist manipulation. We live in an age where media messages are often designed to sway our opinions, to shape our perceptions. Media literacy equips us with the tools to recognize and resist such attempts, to see through the smoke and mirrors of manipulation. It's like having an invisible armor that protects us from the onslaught of media persuasion. Finally, media literacy empowers us to make informed decisions. Armed with the ability to question, evaluate, and resist manipulation, we can make choices based not on hearsay or manipulation, but on solid, verified information. It's like having a compass in the vast ocean of media, guiding us towards the truth, towards informed decision-making. So, how does media literacy empower us? It makes us questioners, evaluators, resistors, and informed decision-makers. It gives us the tools to navigate the complex media landscape, to separate the signal from the noise, the truth from the falsehood. Media literacy, thus, equips us to navigate the media landscape with discerning eyes. Let's go back to our case study. Remember the misinterpreted message we discussed earlier? Let's put on our media literacy glasses and see how we could have approached that situation differently. First off, let's look at the source of the message. Who sent it? What's their background? What's their motivation? With media literacy, we become more discerning consumers of information. We question the credibility of the source before accepting the message at face value. Now let's think about the message itself. Was it fact or opinion? Was it an attempt to persuade or just to inform? Media literacy teaches us to separate fact from opinion and to identify the purpose of a message. Next, let's consider the medium through which the message was delivered. Was it a social media post, a news article, a podcast? Each medium has its own set of rules and conventions, and understanding these can help us decode the message more accurately. And how about the audience? Who was the message intended for? Understanding the intended audience can give us clues about the message's purpose and how it should be interpreted. Finally, let's think about the impact. How did the message affect its audience? And how could it have been different if the audience was media literate? Now let's replay the scenario. If we had considered the source, the nature of the message, the medium, the audience, and the impact, would we have misinterpreted the message? Probably not. We would have been more critical, more thoughtful, and more skeptical. We would have questioned the message, the source, and the medium. We would have been aware of how the message could affect us and others. The ability to do all these things, to analyze and evaluate media messages, is what media literacy is all about. It's not just about consuming media, it's about understanding it, questioning it, and making informed decisions based on it. With media literacy, the narrative changes completely. So, what have we learned today? We embarked on a journey to unravel the enigma of media literacy and how it's often misconstrued. We've learned that media literacy isn't just about understanding a message, but rather, it's about interpreting and critically analyzing that message. We delved into the case of the misinterpreted message, illustrating the pitfalls of consuming media without a critical eye. We saw how easily misinformation can spread when we don't question the media we consume and the potential damage it can cause. We then decoded media literacy, breaking it down into its core components. We discovered that it's not just about reading between the lines, but also understanding the context, the source, and the intended audience. We explored the power of media literacy, highlighting how it equips us with the ability to fact-check, deconstruct media messages, and make informed decisions. It's a tool that empowers us, allowing us to navigate the complex world of media with confidence and discernment. We revisited our case study this time with our newfound understanding of media literacy. We saw how applying these skills can drastically change our perception and understanding of the media we consume. In conclusion, 
media literacy is a vital skill in our ever-evolving, media-saturated world. It's more than just understanding the media, it's about engaging with it critically and responsibly. Remember, media literacy isn't just a skill, it's a necessity in our media-saturated world. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.